Yes, I'm gonna try vlogging today, for real. Like, really vlog, like, not just talk, but actually vlog. Oh, the back fans open up. Hi, world. Hi, world. <laughs> <laughs> uh, crazy mommy's here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't say that. I'm not the one getting in trouble. I did not call Hello, her. Courtney. Hello, Courtney. Say, say hello to the world. They just refer to you as crazy mommy. That was Courtney! <laughs> She'll be alright. Alright, I'll show you crazy later. Uh oh. Alright, moving yeah, on. As long as you know, that's your channel. It's your channel. But we're okay. All right, we have arrived here at Costco's. I think I got it. Yeah, there we go. I'm about to go inside. I don't know what we need. I can honestly tell you, unless it's toilet paper or paper towels, my wife handles the list. Not me. I know that's a shame. I should know a little bit more of what we actually need in the house, but she has a mental a mental list. You do. You keep a mental list. So we'll see y'all inside. So did you ladies enjoy another Costco trip? No. Why not? Because. We did not get any juice or popsicles. We did get juice. I know, but not the juice that I wanted. What juice did you want? Grape juice. I meant Jesus juice. Yeah, I meant Jesus juice. Mm. Exactly. Y'all got on the couch. You got on the, the carpet. Y'all not going to see another no grape juice for a while. But I wanted the fruit. I wanted, I wanted, I wanted the fruit roll-ups. I wanted the fruit roll-ups. Why? Because they're so good. <laughs> I want fruit roll-ups. <laughs> Those were the days. The man is certain stuff. Did you just poop? Oh, my God. <laughs> my youngest one is like the gassiest ever. All right, the Costco trip was real short, so now I'm at my in-laws' house because we have to get Christmas ornaments because they like to put up a tree every year. For me, if we never put up the Christmas tree again, I would not miss it whatsoever. But I guess it's something that we can do as a family to so put the you know ornaments on the tree and take the time to do that. So I guess that's what we're gonna do. But I gotta go up in this attic to get the the decorations. And I'm not looking forward to it, because in the garage. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, I don't like going to attics, because you never know what's up there. It'll be evil dolls, Chucky, you know, anything. Spiders, you name it, it's up there. But I got a hoodie on, though, so I'll be all right. But, all right, I'm about to head up there, get this stuff out, and then we'll see where we go from there. So I finally got all the stuff out of the attic space. It was a lot of stuff up there too. I'm like, man, for the inside, outside, everything else. But while I'm heading to Costco's, I asked my wife a random question that just came to my mind. And that's basically as a young man, or as a little boy all the way up till I was an adult, I was always taught and told how I'm supposed to treat ladies. And I mean, I think it's a good thing. It's definitely a good thing. And, but I always wondered, our ladies taught the same thing, like our women taught, you know, or young girls taught how you're supposed to treat a man, you know, especially if he's a good man, not these disrespectful knuckleheads out here. But are they taught that or are you only taught 
you know, how you're supposed to be treated by the opposite sex. Now, I'm not talking about just relationships. I'm just talking about in general, how you're supposed to treat each other. Or are you just taught to, you know, respect all human beings and so on and so forth? Because even though I was taught how to treat people in general, when it came to the ladies, they specifically drove me on do's and don'ts. Unless you wanted to be a player, then all those things went out the, out the window. But leave a comment in the comment section below because I want to know, you know, like, are you taught that? Because I asked my wife and she said no. She wasn't taught that. She just observed she just observed how her mom treated her dad. But I know not everybody has an example like that or a good example. So you can't necessarily gauge it off of that. So I, I, I'm wondering because... You know, like when I think back to Black Mamba, who I told you guys about already, yeah, she she was not a good example. But all right, I'm going to stop this for now, and next time you see me, I should be back at home. All right, I'm back home, and I need to... Earlier, I recorded uh, a video, My Dark Skin, but the way I recorded it, and you know, when you actually write things down, and I'm actually going through it, I realized that I really overhyped this topic. Like, it's not as bad as maybe some people who have experienced who are dark skinned, especially in America, but mine really wasn't that bad. So I'm going to redo it to kind of still talk about my experiences, but then also to talk about, you know, just how it didn't affect me that, that much as much as I made it seem. And then also just talk to, tell the people who may have, you know, issues with it to overcome those things. Why are you jumping up and down in the background I'm trying to vlog here? <laughs> but that's it because I'm not saying that my experiences was just, it was minor compared to what I've heard other people say, but without giving the total video away, you know, I learned the importance of having pride, of both having pride and also having confidence in your own skin. But that's it for now, so as always, be wise, and until I see you guys next time. Peace! Well, I was going to say have a great weekend, but that'll work. Bye, world! If you're in high school or college right now, you're watching this video, one thing I want to let you know is that life is a great equalizer. Like